Obama lost another battle. Democrats are losing on all fronts. And we love this, and many people are happy. Businesses around the country on Wednesday cheered a court decision blocking the Obama administration as sweeping new overtime rules, but many had already raised salaries or ordered managers to stick to a strict 40-hour workweek to avoid costs they expected to incur starting next week. This is going to help American brands and companies to stay competitive with the brands all over the world. An injunction issued Tuesday by the federal court in the Eastern District of Texas prevents the Department of Labor from mandating overtime pay for salaried employees who make less than about $47,500 a year a dramatic jump from the old threshold of $23,660. Only leftist crazy people can think that government should mandate to business how much to pay their workers. This is so insane. More than 4 million workers would have been newly eligible for time and a half pay under the rule, which now faces far more uncertainty from Donald Trump's incoming administration. And we are more than sure that Trump will help the business owners to stay in business. The ruling giving businesses a reprieve is a little late for a lot of people as taste comma said Tom Gimble of Chicago-based Law Sale Network a staffing firm that advised companies on how to prepare for the new rule. A lot of companies had already rolled it out. Walmart, for example, raised entry-level managers' starting salaries by $3,500 in September to stay above the threshold. But there were also raises among clerical workers for Opportunity Village in Las Vegas a nonprofit that teaches vocational skills to people with disabilities and raises its money through private donations and running a thrift store. Opportunity President Bob Brown said he cooled and he bear to backtrack on the decision. It s put us in a difficult situation you re spending money you would not have been spending comma he said. Not all can have this additional expense. In Colorado, some restaurant owners operating on thin margins shifted salaried managers to hourly pay so they could better track their hours and cap them at 40. That was demoralizing for managers who felt they were being demoted, comma said Sonia Riggs, CEO of the Colorado Restaurant Association. The Department of Labor last May ordered the changes to give overtime to many more American workers saying they would go a long way toward realizing President Obama's commitment to ensuring every worker is compensated fairly for their hard work. Inflation had weakened the U.S. overtime law passed decades ago. Overtime provisions applied to 62 percent of U.S. full-time salaried workers in 1975 but just 7 percent today. That means some low-level retail and restaurant managers are making $25,000 a year but aren't eligible for overtime, even when they reworking 60 hours a week. But if you bankrupt their companies and they stay jobless at home, is that going to be better solution? The court agreed with the rule's opponents that the Labor Department overstepped the authority it has from Congress and that the rule could cause irreparable harm if it took effect December 1 as scheduled. The department is now considering its legal options, but Trump will be in charge of the department after taking office on January 20. Trump told the news website Circa in August that he hoped small businesses would get an exception from the overtime rule although the issue was not a prominent presidential campaign theme. Trump understand business, Obama and Hillary never made one dollar in business, they never made one job in private sector, all they did they taxed and taxed and ruined other businessmen.